Although much of the intricate details of golf's history are said to be lost forever, the memoirs of the legendary Iron Man of St Andrews hereby stands as proof that sometimes you can still find traces of that history hidden amongst the handwritten stories told within the old family bibles of the Scottish people. And when you come across these ancient glimpses of that history while reading the Iron Man's memoirs, it is important to savour the moment. For if you do, you will find yourself in the presence of something even more Scottish than bagpipes or kilts. In a sense, you will be looking into the loving eyes of Scotland itself and listening to the very beat of its Scottish heart. Memoirs of the legendary Iron Man of St Andrews is an extraordinary new book that reveals much about life and golf in early 19th century St Andrews, Scotland. And historically speaking, there is no other manuscript related to golf over which the genius of antiquity lingers so profoundly. This astonishing book reads very much like an historical analysis of the birthplace of golf, yet most academics will agree it's more than that, much more. The Iron Man's memoirs tell the story of a real-life historical figure known to scholars and golf historians only as the Ringmaker. Certified as the maker of very distinguishable hand-forged circa 1800 iron golf clubs, the actual name of this 19th century blacksmith has long remained a mystery. His ancient work, however, is easily recognised by an ornamental ring cut around the top of the club's hosel. Therefore, collectors and museum curators worldwide simply refer to him as the Ringmaker. The memoirs entail a hauntingly in-depth account of the Iron Man's 89 well-spent years of life and golf within the enchanted royal borough of his birth beginning in mid-June of 1827, when he and his six-year-old best chum, wee Tom Morris, met famed author Sir Walter Scott in the graveyard amongst the ruins of St Andrew's Cathedral. Now you can get your own copy of this wondrous book at ironmanofstandrews.com and find out for yourself why golf academics and scholars are saying there is no other single book equally full of historical interest as the memoirs of the legendary Iron Man of St Andrews.